Petra, good day. Ah, oh, you're back. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. Maybe why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Nonsense! It's come this not way. that complicated! You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why... Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood? They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. 
Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Ah! Help! I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Evil. Ah! Let's end this. I'm at your sight. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowny Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear any... Oh! Oh, goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. The ardent blood tooth. The circus make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength would bolster our settlement. I should seek him out. should meet this abbess, Wolfhilda. Good to see you. 
see you. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes? Or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes. Vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redder. He means... you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, 
My apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Black Tooth's cave should be close by. Yeah. That must be Bjorn, the Berserker. My eyes cannot forget the sight of that. Her hair so long and falling down. How are you cold? You bear skins, you wolf shuts, you tasters of blood. They go. A man who fights beside a great white bear. You are Bjorn Bloodtooth. Ask the dead. What do they tell you? They say... We do not want shapeshifters in these lands. They wished me dead. They are not the first. And you, come to make your name in battle. Another corpse at my door won't matter. I'm not here to fight you, Bjorn. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I offer you a seat in our hall. I have no clan, and no need of another. You prefer to live alone here with your bear? I prefer vengeance. Against the man who hung my wife and left her for the crows. Who is this man? The Mercian Lord, whose name shall not sour my lips. He has scores of men, an army perhaps, but that will not stop me. 
Then let me help. If you truly wish to avenge your wife, you must not fall in battle. I shall think it over. Njal, go with my bear. Feel her belly. And if Njal trusts you, who knows? Maybe we do as you say. You're tame for so wild a beast. Is that so? Tell me, what does a bear like you eat? Whatever you want, huh? Best you show me then. The Skalds say Bjorn carried you into battle when you were but a bear cub. Raised you as one would raise a child. Your favorite flowers? They're not food, Njal. Reminds me of summer in Norway. We had fields like these near Heminger's Hall. <laughs> I can see why Bjorn keeps you around. Lake. It is fish you want. I can help with that. You want some fish, Njal? Here. <laughs> Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. Well. 
These men did not come for the fame of defeating a legendary berserker. No. They were followers of the Mercian Lord. My blood enemy. My wife's killer. How did your wife die? Fame has two faces, Eivor of the Ravens. In Norway, many a young thane wanted the glory of killing me. They died. I grew tired of killing. Alfilder and I, we came here for a new start. A quiet life. But fame sailed ahead of you. This Mercian lord learned of your deeds, sought to boost his own name with your blood. You have the right of it. Only he wanted me to drink the Berserker brew first. When I refused, he demanded. Offered gold even taunted me. Then he... He hung her. Arfhilda. Your blood feud is just. But if it is something you must do alone... No. Your words are wise. I do not want to die fighting. I want to die knowing my wife is avenged. I want to kill that man. Help me. Tell me what you need. Nightshade. It's the last bit of magic I need for my Berserker brew. You shall have it. And when this is over, I trust the Raven Clan will have your axe. When you find the Nightshade, bring it to me beneath the gallows tree south of Beodorich. Nightshade often grows near graveyards, and Saxons build their graveyards near churches. Nightshade grows in graveyards. No shortage of those in Christian England.
Save it for later. What's that? A barracks of some kind? with this. of him.
Ein um dir, Griepat! Need to row our way out. Let the sail out! Strike up a tune! Nightshade. Good. It has the power we need for the coming ritual. Nearly done. The Skalds say Odin hung himself in a tree much like this. He lived, though. Most die. Yggdrasil. The world tree. Odin's gallows. The place where life and death are one. Ride with me, Raven. The Sather awaits. Berserker brew hits hard. It may open your eyes to the spirit realm. It may turn you into a savage beast. Whatever happens, face it without fear. For you bear skins! The wolf shuts you drinkers of blood! We fight for glory, we shield biters! War breakers, born in battle's flood! I've been close to death many times, but this, this was different. Ah, oh, feels like a Jotun kicked my head in. Tis glorious, is it not? Berserker brew does not, does not agree with my belly. But you live still. Can you feel the power of the bear's blood coursing through your veins? Yes, but you, you were a bear. And the bear power courses through me still. I'm ready. Where to? 
The Mercians who slew my wife cowered in Beodorich's world. We shall kill them all! With me! No! Y'all, we taste mercy and rot! Show me what you can do, Berserker! For
Bjorn, your enemy has fallen. You have your revenge. Yes. But now I fear I must ask you one last thing. Should you be willing? What is it? Njal is tired. I will tend to her beneath the tree where this all began. Please, bring us some of her favorite flowers. They look like... I know the ones. I'll gather them and meet you beneath the gallows tree. Stay strong, my child. Bjorn is here. I saw some of Njal's favorite flowers growing beneath the gallows tree. It's this tree often. Flowers for Njal. Now to meet Bjorn beneath the gallows tree. brought her here, where it began, where it ends. I understand. They hung my wife in this tree, and buried her among its roots. A grim and undeserved fate. We took Njar in as a cub. She and I. No children of our own. Now both are gone. Yet I remain. Dear Njor, you were always at my side for the better years of my life. I must have done like this. Njal sleeps at the old father's feet tonight. Yes. They let loyal hounds into the hall of the brave. So Njal too is there. With Alfilda.
Before, you asked if I would join your clan. I am ready. Good. There will be a place for you in my longship and in my clan. I shall sing of Alfilder and Jarl during our travels. Sing of their deeds. And I will carry their names into battle. When you're ready, follow the River Nen to my settlement. We shall welcome you as a brother. I will be the Berserker of the Raven Clan. Danes. It's always the damn Danes. Make them pay Vergil for the dead that now litter the fields. Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? I did not touch your herd. Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there's a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. Bite marks, but not from any beast I know. And the corpse is covered in strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. Blast. You there? What befell this poor beast? Danes befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're holed up in that old church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I have heard talk of a beast on the loose. Blood still wet as dew. Where does it lead? A 
I saw it. All big and hairy. Staggering across the wall. Giants aren't real. You saw the devil himself taking his tide to hell. You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, Warrior. I did. The night it happened. I saw it all. What did you see? A wolf? A bear? Maybe a rabbit hound? It was a Jotun, as straight as a tree. And it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name. Drendel. Beast flung that poor creature up here to its doom. What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Rothgar, his band of Danes, for the killer's men. Whoever it was, they were mighty enough to get a mauled beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes, or worse. I should discuss these clues with Wolfhilda. Wolfhilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland creature. The bite marks, the mold, most art. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man, or a pack of them. The girl mentioned a name, Grendel. No. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues. Aid me, be my eyes. Can you smell it? It reeks of death and evil. I know that scent well. Carrion and death. Loki's reek. Save me! The 
maulings have drawn in a starving wolf pack. Did the wolves get a bite of you? No. I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I... misjudged you. No need. But tell me what happened. These beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm... searching for my best milch cow. She's missing. And you found her? No. But I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar, leader of the war band. You know for a fact this axe is his? Yes. He brandishes it about the village, demanding ale. I will speak to this Rothgar and his war band. That woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. I know the men she means. They're staying at the church near Brisley Farm. Come, meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man, for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wilhilda, and an uncommonly open mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable, that, at times, introduces unholy ideas. And your church accepts your unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities, mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, stand within the folds of a greater mystery. Rothgar's men are rowdy sorts, but the air is far too still. Stand back, priestess. This is war work. <coughs> Rothgar and his men, they... they were good to me. Have a careful, Hilda. The killer may yet linger here. Their leader, Rothgar. I do not see him among the dead. I shall find him. Evil. Look up. More blood. Someone crawled into the loft. Or dragged the body up there. The same marks as before. Bite marks and mauling. These are not weapon wounds.
Back you. Back I say. Hey? You are Rothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finmar Raider and proud of it. <laughs> For the little time I have left. I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! It broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. What was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke. Named itself Grendel. Said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back, you and I. Not I. My wounds are too great and my spirit takes ship. Send them to hail him. For me. Ride with the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel. Whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait. Warrior. There were... Two... Best hide. To not scare the demon off when it returns. We will wait up here for it to show itself again. Get your rest, warrior. I will stand vigil with prayer. Not a monster, but a man. Strange to behold, but this... Grendel is... was... a man. But where did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us, even the most hideous, have souls. Oh Lord, forgive this man his sins, and grant unto him your grace and everlasting love. Mold everywhere. Stay here, Mufilda. I'll follow this trail. Eternal breast grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May all their sins rest in peace. Grendel must have tracked this mold here. But from where?
trail leads southwest. More mold. I'm on the right path. The source of the mold must be near. Trail leads into this pit. Reek. Oh. speaks of her child Grindel. Cruel fate the gods have woven. Something is wrong. Foul. Curse it.
dead swims with fever dreams. What just happened? Randall! Randall! Is that you? Answer me! I, I need a thing for a locked door. A key. Yes, I, I, I need a key. A key? So fitting. Yet, what use is a key with no luck?
What surprises await me this time? Abbas. A4, you live yet. Pray, tell all. I slew a monster that was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? The full truth of this thing may be hard to fathom. Give them a comforting one about heroes and monsters. For the truth, the bone-cold truth of everything is... Often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now, but will write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfhilda. Make it a good tale.
I saw a rich man's home burning, yet he was hopeful, and death stood outside his door. It is always better to live, even in misery. Birna, welcome to the Raven Clan's nest. Good to be here, Sumbi. The people here seem a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I feel right at home. You are at home. Settle in and get a feel for the place. We will be heading out soon enough. Of course. A quick drink and a friendly brawl, and I will be ready for the raids ahead. May I see your stores? I do good work, I must say. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Put that gear to good use out there.
Eivor. Eivor, have you seen Wallace? Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. We can retrace his steps. It's black, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a, like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Hmm. 
he stayed here? Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? <sighs> Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Found. I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The white elk. The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? Petra, where are you? Come. Petra, hello. Mimi, guide me. Have I lost her too? Petra, show yourself! It's getting dark! Sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the White Elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It, it may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. You live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! <laughs> Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Take your evil back to Sutunga's hall! Just watch! What have you done with Petra? Remember, 
have you done to Petra? Answer me! Evil, stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Evil, I am right here. No need to question the barrier before. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find one. Up there! His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited. For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there. This is strange, Seda Vitra. Where are you? Petra, how are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! No, 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 no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it! Just like your Sunan! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go! Wallace should be over there! Are you sure Wallace is here? I... I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, sir. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! This one doesn't have it. Petra, hurry! I see him. I do. Come on, Eivor. Chase the elk. No, no, please don't disappear. Not now. Ah, not until we have Wallace. No, no. Don't go! Wait, wait, we're home. Full circle with nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat, we've been looking for you! And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. It slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They are often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be buzzing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. 
But I will have to ask the Rapids for permission. Forgive not these men their trespasses. Send them instead to the same hell they brought upon our land. This is not your place, heathen. Leave before you draw the wrath of our father. Did you kill these men? These defilers killed themselves by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too. Stand down, Saxon. I mean you no harm. I warned you to leave. Now God guides my hand. <laughs> Tell 
tell me again. What did your god say about me? My god names you the Crow-Eyed Devil. And he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon. Are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is.
it flow. Let it take you. This is it. This is dangerous. It may not work. Until we have the serum. And if it only can manage it. Will you not ask the mad one for me? Ask him for the serum. Beg him for it. He would not listen. And I will sooner see our world obliterated before I gave that man a view of me on my knees. Closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got it. Be ready. I cannot let this abomination live.
Regret torments you. My only regret is losing to whatever you are. You reek of fading glory. we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one.
join me. Together we'll force open the doors of the All Father's Hall. I would like to reorganize the crew. Alright, bring out my lieutenant. Good for now? I must take my leave. So long. Me, warrior, let golden glory be our meat and mead. I would like to reorganize the crew. Found who you needed? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Show me. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my you, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. I have to go. Then go in peace. Zunin, guide me.
Dove and I have some new designs. May I see your stores? All right, if you're done. I have to go. See you soon. So long. What do you see, Sunan? I've been saving these just for you. I would like to see what you have in stock. Only a fool would pass this up.
and excellent touches. Perfection. And I mean that. You should get that. Honestly. You will get so much use out of this. I'm practically giving it away. I imported this with you in mind. Shopping for the day? I must take my leave. So long. Always a pleasure, Eivor. Knut, what are you doing in here? Your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and and there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt and badly. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. I think he did it. Shh. You did it. You brought Eivor. Good work, Knut. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. A wolf! Your dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She is crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. What do you see?
Cautious opening it. I'll free that wolf and pray to Tear that I needn't slay it in front of the children. Liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy, easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise. And you have a lot to learn. Three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Oh, more wolves! And not our new friend! Amor! Stand back! <laughs> Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. De Wolfka. What? De Wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy, because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? Da Wolfka. It has an absurd sound, just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. 
She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you. I need your eyes, my friend. Your baker is done, Tarvin. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There's no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. Wh what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Is that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not.
About your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trade. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me? That brings me joy. Put that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Tarpin. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help.
an unknown to space! the trolls take you. I have seen a crown on a cleaning basin. There it was. I stole it, ran with it, hid it. Now maggots feast on it. I am certain. Let them rule old Albion.
served and prayed under St. Chad at Tamworth. I was a monk. I should have stayed there. Did St. Chad die with his axe in his hand? St. Chad will be revered for avoiding the axe. I wish I had done so myself, and not taken a path full of violent honor. The old gods will fade from our sight in time. God forgive me for I have sinned. <laughs> One of us? Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God save all. I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Nice to see you. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north, on the River Trent. To the Swan Road! Who stands before Eva Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor! If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you... Ah! 
Matt and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending fires. <laughs> now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. <laughs> hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy. To run amok to the mercy and fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the door. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Uba. I know Bergrens. I'm not going anywhere, Bagrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our hex silver hoard. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king, or a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shellwolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes, remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Cheerwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia, 
And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We'll be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of he war. You need to fight to be Move. a... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. I. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha! You hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. Hey, Have you enjoyed, my brother? He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. Both eyes open. of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. Wolfred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending oh. him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> what 
Was it a mass Whoa! exodus from Norway then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Tilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge, as easily as if he might hand over a battle with me. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something, as if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Pagan rats, ravenous, unseemly beasts, teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. Those pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofred? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. 
killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog. You're all the same to me, all godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around a batsman van. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong? I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Destroy the gate! Slaughter the soldiers! Lead the king to me!
must destroy that barricade. It's over, Burgred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. 
I'll send for Cheowulf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Athelink. Where was the son of our king? Jailbird was around. Maybe you missed him. Your I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We have Tamworth. Burkrit's on the run. You are the king in all but name. It won't matter. So long as Burkrit is free, the people will call him king. He must abdicate his crown to me. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tona's. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. Keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor.
Tarbin, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarbin, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know, should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work yeah. you need to do. There's nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we are spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. It makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. So what do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditioned. Wilf only loves what he owns. So what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind?
we're stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. My boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message, and you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat. Did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camp not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. You found it! I did. Let's bring this back to wealth. You handled that better than I would have. Resistance. Oh, ho, they have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring breadmaker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. I need your eyes, my friend.
You and Petra chasing a white elk in the woods high as wispy clouds, my god! I could barely breathe for laughing. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. What have you got for me today? Come for now. I have something that may interest you. I could really use this. Bringing me this would be helpful. <laughs> I'm looking for this. I will see you later, friend. Until next time. Petra. Evil, how are you? I should go. Let's talk again soon. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. You go on, I'll still be here. Tarbin, are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Eivor. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Guthban. Hadn't heard it in years. It dredges up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. Wilf offered it. He looked at me, took me in and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they've never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. That is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. Hi, Tabor. myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tarbin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And you owe us nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it. And purge the past. With pleasure. Just keep your wits about you. 
Kalgenbar. Me and Ava will... Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Eva and Uba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Eva from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hump. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, I must be careful keep though. talking. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. The Emperor's on the air betrayed you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? That's not why I'm here. Where is King Burgeret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters, records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson plots. You're dealing with me now, and I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow, and you can cover the cost. When Cheolwulf is on the throne, do you think he'll be pleased to hear you stood in his way? That you doubted him at all? Settle for half that amount. And maybe Cheolwulf's first command won't be for your head on a platter. You've got stones. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas. Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you... That's where I'd look. And that is all I know. Not more, not less. We are done here. Ledichester and Templebroth Fort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. Sigurd's told us the news. Well done. 
Letterchester and Templebroth Fort. What do you know about them? Hmm. Letterchester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkwright could be at either one. We should check both. As soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Borgred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Leatherchester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. And your friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. Have a look, Sunin.
timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty, wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templarbrach? No. And if Burkrid is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkrit slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. Aid me. Be my eyes. Bathhouse. Need to find a way inside.
Quite a haul of goods they've hidden away. Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Ivar's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife. The Lady Arvel's with. She's in Templerville. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Do you hear that? The sounds of battle. Eva. Let's let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Stay close to me. What? What do I do? Fight, man! Fight! <laughs> I don't think so. My god. I didn't want it to come to this. They would have killed you, Chilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. I'll be back. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You are reckless, Ivar. Jailbird could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his balls? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned, you are Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burkrit's Lady Athelswith is in Temple of I'm going to find out what she knows. Flames. Take everything! Something's on fire. Uh. Pile the soldiers here. Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom. Oh. 
Whoever trains these Mercian soldiers should be relieved of their duty, I think. Huh. What be here, Nick? Northman are on us? My eyes, Sunan. My battle cannings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack, the scourge of swan roads, the iron throng, the lender of silver gelds. I only wish to be a freebooter, someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. Come <laughs> on. 